check it. I just got this brand new trailer. And I'm gonna be putting it together. So right now our first process is to paint the walls. I wanna make something bright, so more light the better. This is part one, it's painting the part the, the walls. Okay. It's a lot of work, but I just finished um, painting the inside of the trailer. Have a look. Okay, so the walls are all painted. And also, I primed the floor. I used the uh, high solids epoxy, and it's now ready for the 100% epoxy coating that I'm going to apply with, um, I think it's blue, gray, and white specks in the floor the ramp is going to be just a solid gray color and then i'm going to put the logo the logo of the company which is luchos improvement solutions and that's it now you might think why put all this work into a trailer when you just carry in stuff this is my office this is where you know I conduct business. I spend most of the day working out of that station. So it's important to me. This was my old one. Little smaller. 5x8. And I upgraded it to a 6x10. I'm a handyman and a painter. I do epoxy flooring. So I don't need a lot of space. So a 6x10 is plenty for me. Okay. So my next process is going to be epoxy in the floor and then we're gonna do the electrical it's gonna be fun peace hi guys Lewis back here again with Lucho's improvement solutions so I just finished doing the floor on the trailer and I also installed the lights check it out this is the floor it's 100% epoxy and also my LED lights came in today. Actually, they came in last night. So now I have lights so I can work at night time. This is the original light. It's not an off light for me to work, uh, you know, once it gets dark. So I had it upgraded. Now in the front, where you see the outlet, I'm gonna install the plug right in the front and I'm gonna make that into a workstation left side I'm gonna put some cabinets and that's where I keep all my stuff organized but the next process is the clear coat the floor's not complete yet I'm gonna put a final coat protective coat and then that's it all right that's the finished product 100% epoxy floor with a 100% uh, broadcast or full broadcast and a top coat. In the back, you see the outlet that I installed for the trailer. And those are my lights. I've been working. I can run this outlet with a backup battery, which I can put in the front of the trailer, or I can just run it straight to the generator which I keep in my truck in the back of the bed. So, if I want to turn this compressor on, sorry guys, it's about to get loud. No problem. Yeah, yeah, haha. It gets hot, it's the grind song. Skate, understand, man. Yeah, it's that skate, it's the grind song. Lewis back again. Just finished with my uh, project of the day, the working station. As you can see, I have a bottom shelf, top working station. I can, I'm going to paint it and put uh, some sort of top coating on top of the wood, and then move on to my final project, which is putting up cabinets over here or shelves or I don't know figure something figure a way so I can bring all my stuff from my old trailer back into here in an organized manner
starting to look like a real trailer. Hi, this is Lewis with Lucha's Improvement Solutions. I just wanted to show you my final product. I just finished it today. Sort of, it's not completely done. There's still, still a little bit of detail that I want to do to it, like the countertop, I would like to paint it. And then the ramp, I would like to put my logo. So, still two small things, but it's all cosmetic. Everything else is done, come check it out. Okay, well, first of all, I got the ladder racks. It's good to go. And then, this is my storage now. A lot of these ideas I actually copied on from uh, watching YouTube videos and stuff like that. Pictures. And then, you know, made it my own. I'm not a carpenter, so... This is not top of the line cuts or um, fancy work. It's just a working station for what I'm gonna be using it for, which is power washing, painting houses, epoxy flooring, and handyman work. It's my lights. And that's it. Any questions, you can always email me or uh, comment, okay? All right, thank you for watching.